fun, beautiful, and fascinating, but do you know what they are and how they work? Any soft drink or water bottles will do. Firm bottles are easier to use than thin, flimsy ones. Cut the bottom off of the plastic bottle. Squirt dishwashing liquid into a bowl. Mix in a little water to thin it out. Slip a sock over the cut end of the bottle. If you like, you can secure it with a rubber band. Ta-da! To make a rainbow, stripe the sock with food coloring. Blow through the mouth of the barrel to make a bubble. A bubble is a thin film of a soapy water. Most of the bubbles that you see are filled with air. But you can make a bubble using other gases such as carbon dioxide. The film that makes the bubble has three layers. A thin layer of water is sandwiched between two layers of soap molecules. Each soap molecule is oriented so that its polar hydrophilic head faces the water, while its hydrophobic hydrocarbon tail extends away from the water layer. No matter what shape a bubble has initially, it will try to become a sphere. The sphere is the shape that minimizes the surface area of the structure, which makes it the shape that requires the least energy to achieve. When two bubbles meet, they will merge walls to minimize their surface area. When bubbles with the same size meet, the wall that separates them will be flat. When bubbles with different sizes meet, the smaller bubble will merge into the bigger bubble. Yeah, I'm